Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I've been looking for a Louis Vuitton wallet for months and months. Actually since April of 2019, when I first bought my Speedy and my Neverfull. And I looked at the Zippy, I looked at the Sarah, I looked at all of them that they had in the store. And my SA David, my awesome SA David, highly recommended the Zippy for me. And I bought it and returned it and for the reason that I felt it was too wide for me. It was wide and big. And I have a lot of little bags. And I wanted, you know, when you're spending so much money for a wallet, you want it to be able to fit in all your bags. At least I do. So I wanted to get something small and compact. So I wasn't able to find it. And recently I went on the purse blog forum and I asked everybody to help me and I got a lot of suggestions but the majority of suggestions was for the Victorine in the epi leather <coughs> excuse me so I looked I wasn't considering the epi leather at all prior to that I was considering the canvas and the monogram like my other Louis Vuitton SLGs so I looked at the epi leather and then I came across the, I know, no, no, I'm not going to pronounce it right, um, print, it's, it's, I, it's, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it right. I'll spell it for you so that you know what it is. It's E-M-P-R-E-I-N-T-E. -E. And I went to YouTube to find out how to pronounce it. And YouTube has everything. YouTube is a magical place. And they have videos. 15 seconds long that give you the pronunciation of this of this wallet. So I wrote it down phonetically and I'm coming up with Amprant. And I, I'm sure in time as I become familiar, I'll be able to say it, but right now this is a very new uh, product to me. So that's, that's all I could say <laughs> as far as the um, pronunciation. So I found that and what that is is like a monogram, but it's embossed. It's an embossed leather. And actually, empreinte means, the definition means footprint. And the synonym is impression, which describes this wallet. This is the Victorine empreinte in Noir, N-O-I-R, which is black. This is my new wallet, and I love it. It has a pebbled leather it's not that thin but it's not fat the letters are upside down on the back because Louis Vuitton puts uses one piece of canvas a continuous piece of canvas and I'm assuming a continuous piece of leather too and this is how it looks opened up And this is the inside. Now, I'll, I'll tell you why I didn't get the canvas. And that's because I've been, I was watching videos. And on the videos, I, I have seen some people struggling and struggling to get the credit cards out of the slots because it's, I, it was very tight. Now, I know that for a fact because I had a... Um, I tried, I was almost bought a Michael Kors wallet that was very similar actually, but I couldn't get the cards in or out. It was extremely, extremely hard for me to get out. So I, I didn't want to go through that and I felt leather is, you know, it's always been smooth. I've always had leather wallets and it's never been a problem getting cards out. So I figured that would be the way to go. And I'm very happy I did. Let me tell you a little bit about it. This is a, a gold tone button, and somebody told me that it scratches a lot and advised that I put a, a little piece of plastic on here that sticks, and that will avoid it from scratching, so I'm going to look into that. It has six card slots, three here and three here, and this, the cards go in and out with ease, really. Really good, really good. 
and I only have six credit cards. I just got another one and I didn't put it in yet, but here's one, two, and the third is down here. It has pockets over here underneath the card slots on this side, which is a nice amount of size, and on this side, which is a nice amount of size. People do put other cards in there. I put my rewards cards in here, loyalty cards in there, and I put cash that I have that I'm carrying with me, but I don't want to spend here. And in the zipper compartment, which is for the coin, it has a, a little uh, leather pull piece on the zipper pull. And I and the zipper is very smooth, by the way. Look at that. I put my driver's license and my uh, insurance cards in there, and it fits absolutely perfectly. Goes in and out very easily. And this is where you put your bills, and the bills stay straight. And I love it. This particular one is made in, in France. And this is like a pebble leather inside. And I really, really love this wallet. It fits into all my bags. It will fit, here is my, my Nolita 22 from Coach. So this is 22 centimeters. And this is actually a pouch or a wristlet. This is the size of it. Plenty of room to put your phone or whatever you want. And by the way, the Nolita has a zipper on the back, the back where I often put my keys. So it fits in there. My Tabby 26. Now this was initially a problem for me and I had to buy it twice because it, it didn't fit all my things initially. And it's, it's very, you know, it's very organized and it really doesn't accommodate a large wallet, but it will hold this. Here it is in the back. You can put something there. You have this section. And you have a middle section, you have a pocket here, and a pocket here. And this, this wall is absolutely perfect in here. There it is. Yeah, yeah. It's perfect. And this is my Pouchette Accessoire. This is another pouch, or, and it also comes with a a cheddar handle which you could wear as a, um, a shoulder bag or a wristlet. So no problem fitting in that either. Here is my Samorga organizer and I'm going on, I'm traveling this week. So I'm going to be taking my Speedy and the, the Samorga, Samorga organizer will be in it. And of course I'm taking the wallet and I could put it, of course I could put it here, but I could put it in the side pocket over here, stick it in. It fits in there perfectly. And this is it compared to my other wallets. This is my Coach accordion wallet, zip around full-size wallet. This is the difference in size. It looks a little wider actually, but it is just a drop more than half the length of this. And this is my Coach medium wallet. I absolutely love this wallet. And this is the medium zip around. And 
I would say it's three quarters or maybe two thirds the size of this. So I just wanted to share this with you. I love this. And let me tell you a little about the leather directly from Louis Vuitton uh, site. Uh, it, it says that uh, this leather will become more supple with use. It will evolve as a testimony to the owner's experience, giving each piece a personal and unique look. I, I guess that's I guess that's uh, as you use it, you'll make your own impressions as this becomes softer. And let me tell you the dimensions. The dimensions are four and a half inches in length. This way, three and 3.74, almost three and a quarter in height and the depth or width is 0 0.59 or almost you know almost 60 point, zero point 60 in depth i love it i really i think it's perfect for me i think it's elegant uh i'm just really happy with it no issues with the cards going in and out which was a big thing to me because I knew I wouldn't like using it eventually. And I think it, also most of my SLGs are um, in, in this print, the monogram print. And I think this will go perfect with my monogram SLGs, as well as my coach SLGs, because most of them are black. Well, thank you everybody for watching. And thank you for spending time with me. I love you guys. And as I mentioned, I'm going on a trip and I will try and do another video before I leave and try, hopefully I could do something there. I'm not sure because I'm going to go see my grandchildren and my children and they have plans for me, including an early Thanksgiving while, while I'm there, which we, I haven't uh, celebrated Thanksgiving with them in at least 15 years. So it's going to be really special. But I'm going to miss you guys, and I'll try and be here whenever possible. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody. Bye now.